Hi everyone, this is Abdul from Pythonist. In two of our previous videos, we talked about Python and C functions inside Cython respectively. There is a third kind of function which can be declared with the cpdef keyword. It is a hybrid of def and cdef functions. A cpdef function combines features from both of the other kinds of functions and approach many of their limitations. In our previous videos, we made the C def function C underscore factorial available to Python by writing a def wrapper function named wrap underscore C underscore factorial that simply forwards its arguments onto C underscore factorial and returns its result. A single CP def function gives us these two functions automatically. We get a C only version of the function and a Python wrapper for it, both with the same name. When we call the function from Cython, we call the C only version. But when we call the function from Python, the wrapper is called. In this way, CP def functions combine the convenience of def functions with the performance of C def functions. To continue with our example we discussed in previous videos, let us define a cpdef function named cp underscore factorial to see how we can clean up the python wrapper and c factorial function combo. So we can define that something like this one, as you can see on the screen. We defined a cpdef function named cp underscore factorial. You should be familiar with the rest of the code if you're following me from previous videos. Our cp underscore factorial provides the speed of c underscore factorial and the python accessibility of pi underscore factorial all in one place. Its performance is identical to that of wrap underscore c underscore factorial. That is about 10 times faster than the python version of factorial function. But a cp def function has one limitation because it does double duty as both a python and a c function. Its arguments and return types have to be compatible with both Python and C types. Any Python object can be represented at the C level, but not all C types can be represented in Python. So we cannot use void C pointers or C arrays indiscriminately as the argument types or return type of cpdef functions. That's it for the cpdef functions in Cython. But before closing this discussion, I think there's an interesting thing you should keep in mind. C and C++ support an optional inline keyword to suggest that the compiler replace the declared function with its body wherever it is called, thereby further removing call overhead. The compiler is free to ignore inline. Cython supports the inline keyword for cdef and cpdef functions. We simply have to place inline after the cdef or cpdef keyword like this one. Cython passes this modifier through to the generated C or C++ code. The inline modifier, when judicially used, can yield performance improvements, particularly for small inline functions called in deeply nested loops. Great, we learned a lot. I think that's enough for this video. If you like the content, thumbs up. And be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so you will never miss any fantastic video in the future. Thanks for watching.